everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Not a Botanist. I'm Ash and this is my channel about planty things and wellness. And I'm, I share tips that I use to help my indoor jungle thrive, to help you and your indoor plants thrive. Today we're going to be going through my prop boxes, or at least part of them. This might be a two-parter. And I'm going to go through the different methods I use uh, for prop propagating and rehabbing plants that have shipped or that just aren't doing well and then I'm gonna go through all the plants I have propagating right now and then at the end we are going to propagate some more plants and air layer a plant or two so thanks for joining me and if you uh, like this content then please give it a thumbs up and if you've been here a while and you really enjoy what you're seeing, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It'll help more planty things pop up on your homepage. Okay, we're gonna start with the least exciting one because it's almost empty. There is two little baby pieces of Monstera dubia in there. And then what looks like some pothos, which sometimes I root in sphagnum. I see that leaf is about to come off. I should probably take it off before it starts rotting, but I don't have good luck with water propagation, so I just throw everything inside. But I put about an inch of damp sphagnum in the bottom of a cleared, clear container, and you'll see some of these are like food containers. Um, Exactly airtight. They're pretty loose, but they still hold the humidity in there pretty good. So you can see at the top, that's condensation. It's the morning time now, still. So if in the morning and at evening you see condensation on the sides, you don't want it all the way around if it's this tall, probably, because um, you don't want to rot the leaves off. But if you see some condensation right here or on the top, then you know everything is working in there and you don't have to worry. Okay, so this is a big one. I don't know if I can get it all in one shot. So as you can see, some things in here are in cups and some are just thrown in the moss. propagations have a little bit of a root system and they need to get away from each other because the roots are about to tangle up. Or if it's something that vines really quickly, like these are Monstera dubia, and even the babies will shoot off new growth all the way at the side of the cup really fast. Um, so I didn't want to risk their, their roots growing attached to each other. Now, I don't know how great this is because I feel like attached roots would help a plant thrive. However, if you're planning to not keep them together in the end, I would put them in cups. And as you can see, I label mine. I have a lot of propagate. Oh, that's probably backwards for you. But I have a lot of propagations, and this is just like a paper label. Uh, it's actually pretty damp, so it's probably not going to last. But I also have a label maker, and I I also use popsicle sticks sometimes. I'll break them in half and write in Sharpie on them and stick it in the side. Um, yeah, I just like to keep the ones that are doing okay separate. This golden goddess that's rooting. Lots of phyllos. That makes sense. So the reason she got chopped is because of this new leaf that it's rotten, but Regular burrow marks, uh, 
cutting that I took. Also got some new leaves in the works. This Albo Syngonium, which is a top cutting and unfurling a new leaf, as you see. Sorry, I'm shaking. Use two hands. Um, it's a fresh cutting. I just bought it yesterday. Um, yeah, so rooting in some sphagnum moss. There's two more campos in here. video about how I make these toilet paper containers, um, leave a comment and I'll go over it. I'll do a video. Ooh, I'm going to show you something I'm really excited for. My Syngonium Pink Splash. So cute. Ow. She's written up and there's, this is actually a longer I think I cut it into three. Yeah. So this guy's just rehabbing. He was the bottom cut. Um, and this is a Burl Marks Fantasy. pretty damp moss just because he was shipped and not very happy he looked dry so just making sure that he's acclimating okay here's the other two syngonium Ooh, I don't remember this leaf being here it's like a couple new leaves unfurling look 
think that was like about three. This is the middle cut. So this one is one I just got. It is rooted, um, but it's still a baby, and it's used to being in moss, so I'm just gonna leave it in there until it starts doing something for me. This is a baby uh, philodendron Milano. So you can kinda see it's starting to get some Milano-ish leaves. Look how cute. So wild. This is a Monstera Deliciosa cutting that is, it was rooted in water. You can see those bad boys right here. Um, so I am trying to adjust the roots into soil roots. So it's hanging out in moss because it was in water and now it's transitioning more dubia cutting that this is a little dry but it's been sitting out all morning so that's probably why he's chilling another dubia This is the bottom cutting to the Burl Marks Fantasy I showed you in the clear box. But this one had roots, so I was, and I wanted them separate. Um, so yeah, he's just, I don't know if you can see, but it's just the node in there and the roots. It's kind of dry. But it's got condensation on the lid, so I'm not worried about it. And then this has been rooting for almost two months now. And as you can see, it's just in a little plastic Tupperware with a red lid. This is a baby pink princess. She doesn't have much variegation yet, but she cute. Seeing if she has any roots you can see. And like there's one, but I'm scared to tip her that much. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Enjoy this pink princess baby. She cute. Okay, this is my Monstera Peru, my baby. I do have bigger Monstera Peru leaves um, that are unrooted or are starting to root, lightly rooted in the back room, which I will show you guys later. But yeah, he took so when did I get this? June 16th, he was a rooted node, and it is now almost September. So this took two and a half months to put out a leaf. This is my sub philodendron subastatum, and it's a rooted node, but he just has no new growth. And he's got, like, aerial roots I guess? I'm not very familiar with Subastatum, but he's got these like spindly things that look like roots, which I'm guessing those are just like damp, or not damp, but like dryish aerial roots. Yeah, I don't know man. Doing my best. I want to make him happy I guess. I don't know, man. So this one is a little bit of a combo because I have it in a baggie and then the way it came to me in cups. I'm gonna take the whole thing off now. Look at that baby leaf about to unfurl. So I just got this guy a couple weeks ago. And this is a, a Philodendron Splendid. And I'm so excited to see what it does. But it is 
in Lekka, and the person who gave it to me had a lot of water in it. I'm a little nervous, but it seems happy, so... I guess it was rooted in water and not semi-hydroponically, because if it was semi-hydroponically, the water level wouldn't root, go up to the roots. Uh, and I have the feeling, and I'm not positive, but I just have the feeling that the roots are sitting in water in this. But I'm not gonna bother him to check until he's doing a little bit more solid. That's the thing about new plants, even if you're getting them as cuttings, um, you, don't, you don't have to repot them right away, you don't have to transfer them into soil right away, you don't have to transfer them to moss, you can just leave them for a while as long as they're damp and um, have light because they need time to acclimate. This is the most recent cutting of the Monstera dubias I got. And it is rooted, so I put it in Lekka. Um, and then the roots are right above where the water level is. And then since there are holes, I just have it sit sitting in this uh, cut plastic cup in case it spills. Or water, I overwater it or the water comes out of the cup. All right, and the last two things up front I'm gonna show you are my other Lekka propagations. This one I just got, it is rooted. It's a Philodendron Mayoi. And you can see on this one really well where the roots stop. And then you can see when I put it in water. Why are you doing that? Anyway, it has holes in the bottom that the water can go in. So as long as the water level is above the is above the holes should uh, be able to suck water up when it needs it. Yeah, he's wild too. And then the last one, he was also rooted and in a similar setup. And as you can see, I have some Lekka sitting in the bottom so it doesn't, the cups aren't all the way just on top of each other. This is a reverted Philodendron White Knight, or White Wizard. Jeez. Um, and as you can see, he doesn't have much variegation, if any, but this new leaf looks promising. So I'm hopeful that we get a little something. So there's, you can see the stem very slightly in color. So I'm hopeful there's some variegation left in him. We'll see. Yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I am going to record the second half of, um, or the back half of my propagation setup. This is the plant room where a lot of my propagations live. As you can probably see, there is a clip-on grow light for the ones on the shelves, but they also do receive a pretty direct light from a south-facing window. And then for those without a direct grow light, I have them just like piled in front of the window and I'll give you a better look at those. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna start with the smaller ones. Oh no, got a lot of melting leaves in here. So I'm just going to pick out all the leaves that are rotting. I did just water this the other day. And apparently I went ham on it. A little too much. Which is part of the learning, but this plant was also struggling to begin with, which is why it ended up in the box. A lot of times, if I have a plant that's just like lost a lot of its roots to rot or looks like it's struggling otherwise I'll chop it and prop and then this is a marble queen no not a marble queen crimson queen 
for you, I think. So I know the difference with the Hoya, the Crimson Queen versus Princess is whether the white starts in the middle or the outside. However, what I don't know is which one is which. So, yeah, not sure, growing it. Kind of want to check on its roots. What do you guys think? I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to gently kind of come up under it with my fingers and lift it. Got a little bit of roots. Come on, guys. Nothing to write home about yet. Keep hanging out in here. All right, and there's some other random nodes in this guy who seems happy, but I have no idea what he is. Honestly, no idea what that is. String of something, maybe? No, because that's a leafy. prop boxes. So these are dry AF. These were wishful props. Um, I had a Brazil that didn't do so hot so I chopped it up and put some pieces in here but think I'm gonna bring it back guys. There's one node that doesn't look so bad, but that's, that's one node. So yeah, I'm gonna water this and I'll show you what I use. So this is a cool tool. It cost me like five dollars at a hardware store. So how it works is it's got like a straw to draw the water in. You just put that on your I, I used a milk jug, but I'm not sure what other size would work. Um, but it's got a battery in here, so you flip that open, and you the it has like a lock so that you can't accidentally spray it when it's shut. And it sprays. And this box was really dry, so if you're alarmed by the amount of water I'm using, fret not. I'll just make sure the bottom doesn't look too saturated. And there we go. I'll put a link to, if I can't find that exact one, I'll put a link to something similar in the description box if you want a cool spray, continuous spray nozzle that you don't have to pump. Because I do have a pump one up front that I just keep water in. And it, it's good too. Um, and it also only cost me like five dollars. I think. These look like a lot of pothos, but I'm not sure what kind. And I sure as hell didn't write it on here. So I'm thinking Marble Queen. And then we looked at my exotica nodes that need potted up. Because they are rooted AF. Look at it. Alright, and last 
last in the, the small box stack is some Hi-E. Raphidophora. I kind of want to look at these roots. Just a little bit of roots. Probably need more some, something more substantial before we bottom them up. Yeah, they're starting to get there. They've been in there about five weeks. So they're a little slow to root. Okay. These are all individual moss cups of um, Syngonia marithrophyllum. And man, they are dry. Ooh! I see roots on this side. Hang on, let me make sure you can see them. Some of my more high maintenance plants, like this is my um, Epiprenum Panatum, Panatum Molo? No, but it's some Alvo Epiprenum. This is my only orchid, my jewel orchid. Pretty damp, but I'm just gonna. So I have my little Stromanth Triostar in here because my big one that I rehabbed from, um, sorry this has some powdery stuff on it that I'm trying to inspect. This might be starting to rot, I'm not sure. But anyway, they weren't getting enough humidity, but they're so beautiful. So she is a rehab that was in there because she got crispy without humidity. Last but not least, I believe this is horsehead phyllo. Like in very immature form. It's a baby. So that's it for that one. I air it out for a second. These are two of my smaller prop boxes. This one is some silver sword babies. And these I do, they're just little pencil boxes, but I have a hard time keeping them moist. As moist as like a takeout container. But it is working. One of these does not look like a silver sword. No idea what I would have just thrown in there with this, so good notes, Ash. More exotica nodes. Um, these are the runners from the ones I was showing you. As you can see, some of them are really doing well and taking off. Alright, this is the OG, the big boy. I'm not even sure what's in here. Alright, so we got some here. I guess we're doing handheld now. Oh my gosh! Alright, so got some golden gem brandy. I apologize for the handheld angles now. Silver stripe. That's for sure silver stripe. 
that silver stripe. Um, ooh, there's the little painted lady. She's so cute. So that's a sonorilla. She just likes humidity, so she's living in there. Got some skin dapsis, chibouille, moonlight. This, whatever this is, I have no idea, but it took the F off. It's cute. Oh, some more Peru notes. I wonder how these are doing. I haven't checked these roots in a while. Nothing. Ain't that a shame. Looks like a little pagoda lipstick plant right there. A little schlaffera maybe. Some more trebouille. Some pathos. That looks like skin dapsis. Ooh. Argarius. Yeah. That looks like a silver stripe from a node. So a lot of stuff is mush in here because I haven't checked it. Sorry, bro, and I melted your cactus. I was just trying to save it from her rot. There's some Brazil in here. There's some Hoya macrophylla that's losing leaves. some lemon lime philodendron I spilled the water but I'm gonna water this side now I shouldn't have put the camera back up I should have just shown you but so I got some lemon lime her uh, philo Hederacium, some Brazil. Uh oh, it's a little toppled over. Um, some Hoya in here that I was trying to save from root rot. Some pneumo, pneumoloides, pneumo something. I'll put the name up there and some macrophylla that doesn't look promising. I rooted both of those really quickly after getting them. Um, they, it was raining the day I got them and they were soaking wet. And then I guess I just brought them inside where they didn't dry off quick enough and it turned messy real quick. Honestly, I haven't looked in here in a long time. I'm really not sure what's in here. Some sort of cute little vining thing. I have no idea what this is. Some rotten leaves. Some more oh yeah. No roots. I'm gonna water this one as well. Some of the some of my moss looks darker, like it's wet, so it's a little deceiving. Because sometimes I mix it with dirt or worm castings or whatever um, so it can be a little deceptive I also don't like using condensation as a measure for when to water my sphagnum moss prop boxes because I I don't have the luck that other people have with that meaning it's not dried out this is my main shelving unit with a bunch of new propagations on it do the up and down. This is a couple of big old plants up there.